Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today we're going to dive into a pretty hot topic in the trucking and logistics world. Why are freight transportation prices or market prices, load rates, load prices so low right now? Why is that happening? This is more of a market analysis for 2024 and moving forward as well. So first, let's talk about one of the key factors why I think that these prices are so low. Um, and you can, of course, as a viewer of this video and this channel, can put in the comments your own reasons why you think the market is low or what the main reason, if one of the ones that I identify or think is um, the reason for the rates being as low as they are. So first, I think it is definitely a supply and demand imbalance. So since the COVID-19 pandemic, we've really seen a significant increase in the number of trucks available, but the demand for loads hasn't really kept up with that since uh, COVID kind of re relaxed a little bit. So this oversupply is driving prices down. Another reason is there's been also an oversupply of freight brokers and new entrants into the industry as well. Not only was there a lot of trucks available to begin with, but there was also uh, new entrants that were coming in and causing prices to pretty much cliff dive from that respect. I feel like this has, began, uh, has begun as a cliff dive from February of 2023. I don't personally think we're going to get out of it until 2025, maybe midway through or at the end of 2025. There are even some people saying 2027, and I hope that's not the case because we're all in trouble then, of course, if that uh, if that happens. And in 2023, the American Trucking Association reported that trucking industry added over 50,000 new trucking companies, but the volume goods needing transport didn't grow at the same rate. And this actually led to a surplus of trucks and a drop in the freight rates also. Market dynamics also are playing a crucial role in this. Freight rates are highly sensitive to market conditions. So when demand for shipping decreases, logically rates will fall because of this. And conversely, when demand is high, rates rise. A real world example of, of this is the impact of the global supply chain disruptions in 2021. So when ports were congested and goods couldn't move efficiently, the freight rates went insanely spiked up like crazy. But as the situation more or less normalized and inventory levels stabilized, rates began to drop as well. Uh, actually, uh, inventory was oversupplied and then people were trying to get rid of that. That is the companies that had this stuff shipped from overseas. And so rates started to slowly go down and then eventually cliff dive down to where we're at today. Another thing we got to take a look at is freight brokers too. Some trucking companies and truckers um, are accusing freight brokers of price gouging. The industry experts argue that brokers respond to market conditions and don't really set the prices when it comes to this kind of stuff. Freight brokers margins are also under pressure operating within the supply and demand framework of the economy, okay? Freight brokers are often seen as the middlemen, but they operate within the same market dynamics as a trucking company does. So in 2023, during the freight downturn, many freight brokers saw their margins shrink as they struggled to balance supply and demand. There are always exceptions. There are always ones that are more or less gouging we won't mention any names but i'm sure you can put in the comments who you think they may be but i believe truly that freight brokers do play a role in why we have seen prices in certain areas of north america do what they have done okay so as you can see the low freight transportation prices are a result of a complex interplay of factors it's not about blaming one type of business or entity uh, or administration or association, but understanding the broader market dynamics that influence rates. 
If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give us a subscribe, a like, and hit the bell for more updates. And thanks for watching. Again, as always, I do appreciate it. Thank you very much.